All right, Kansas City, are we ready for our CTWC Kansas City Regional Finals? <laughs> On the left, down from Minnesota, the number three seed, Vicious Rhubarb. And on the right, the kid Wonderkin, with his entire family watching in a blue Yoshi, Blue Scooty. You're channeling your inner JB there. If our players are ready, got our seeds ready, there's readies on the screen. Let's count them down, Kansas City, in three, two, one. Tetris! And I am joined by the one and only Game Scout. How are you this evening, sir? I'm doing fantastic. It's awesome to be joined by the one and only Chris Bidwell. There's actually several of me. If you look my name up on Google, there's like a doctor and a lawyer, and it's, it's kind of sad. But uh, as these players get along here, no press down points. Simul Tetris off the board, 22,800 points. And Blue Scooty, just ever so slightly more efficient, gets that second Tetris on the board. And again, a little press down point battle here. Nine for uh, blue and four for rhubarb. Zero burns for either player so far. We'll see how long they can play perfect. Scooty has a tuck set up. If he gets the right piece, he's going to burn one line. Nice uh, flip there. Thank you. Rhubarb also has a tuck set up. Was J dependent, got the J to fill it in. Nice L to the left. Has a good stack, but some dependencies in a tough spot up high, and a dirty wow. Tetris to get out of it. Failed. So, you know, they, they got a little time to warm up and a little, little nervous energy. Blue's trying to, like, uh, groove to a song in his head. He doesn't have the headphones on. So for top rollers, level 18 is almost trivially easy to play at a so-so level. Right. The challenge is trying to figure out how much aggression do they want to push, how much of an edge do they want to try and get, and not risk an early top out. And, and Blue Scooty, during the qualification, got uh, eight max outs, seven max outs, and a, and a one away. So basically every game was reaching a million points. But the thing is, in tournament, tournament play, how aggressive do you maintain your board? Do you ease off of it when you know you're ahead? Do you in increase it when you know you're behind? It's, it's a calculus that you're constantly having to shift. And uh, both players, look at this, 211 for both games. This is amazing. Yeah, typically when you're going for a max out, the first kind of benchmark you want to get is 200,000 by 50 lines. That means you're well on pace. And these players have blasted past 200,000, and it's not even at 50 lines yet. I, I guess we were at 100% Tetris rate, uh, but that will soon end for Blue Scooty as he covers up as well at about 12 high. Scooty had an uncomfortable formation there at the top, and actually Scooty's in a bit of trouble now. Yeah, he can handle this, but he is going to fall behind. But it, the board health is uh, number one paramount here. He was very vulnerable for a moment with the long bar dependency on the right. He managed to get the long bar over, and now he's back into a safety uh, level of as height. A, as a sigh of sigh of relief, you could hear from the family. Yeah. Scooty did still have a massive long bar dependency in the center of his primary stack, but manages to fill it in and is now back to uh, being in business. And may maybe that uh, discomfort kind of refocused Blue Scooty back into playing shape. We'll see how the rest of this game plays out. But 395 Rhubarb, 313 Blue Scooty, that's about a three Tetris difference. And normally when you stack up in those columns uh, five and six like that, that becomes a magnet for pieces to top out. But Scooty just rolls right past it like it's nothing. Scooty's still at the incredible pace despite having to burn lines up at the top at several points throughout this game so far. He's handling this, this height like a champ, but he is a couple bad pieces away from being in serious trouble. So he'd want to get this down as soon as possible. Dirty Tetris <laughs> Blue Scooty. Manages to get out of it again. The rhubarb, just the casual 425 through 90 lines. Ain't no thing.
You know, the, 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 the proper Midwest, as we've been calling it this weekend, we've, they, we've been desperately needing a regional in this part of the country for a long time. And this is why a lot of these players that have come out for the first time uh, to a live event because of this location. I, I'm super glad to be here. I'm super glad all these new and old players have come out to represent this part of the country. Yeah, this is a fantastic finals matchup with a former regional championship winner from the 2022 Illinois Qual in Rhubarb. But this would be by far, I think, the biggest live event he would ever win if he does win. And then Blue Scooty is searching for his first live yep. event victory. I mean, came awfully close in Portland a few months ago. Feels like it's a year ago, but it's only been two months. I know, technically it was uh, a year ago in uh, Tetris time, I guess, because <laughs> we're now already in the 2024 season. That's right. It's the earliest it's ever started. I've never been to a regional December. I love it. Where our goal is one a month, and Blue Scooty with the transition way up the board, gets out of trouble, then is tied it up at 510,000 to 512. But Rhubarb is going to make that Tetris uh, lead here, 542, 510. Both players handle that transition beautifully. Yeah, they were both off to such amazing paces early on uh, in 18. They dialed it back a bit, uh, had to take a bunch of burns before 19, but they managed to have very safe stacks and, heading into the speed increase. And you can see the screen looking. They're, they're, they're looking at their score. They're looking at their opponent's score. They're recalculating the risk that they're willing to take at a particular point, and that's why we sell those mid-500s. They're trying to maintain pace with one another and uh, kind of take those little cheeky uh, safety plays when they can, and it won't affect their overall position. Rhubarb had a very costly double flip, oh, and it's oh, going to cost gonna be Rhubarb scooting. the game. Oh, my goodness, just like that. Yeah, Quick heart. Not yet. A very unfortunate misdrop for Rhubarb high up. It was not a dangerous stack, but one piece can change everything. So no mulling in game one, Blue. Let's go to top out, and uh, we'll get game two started. Oh, oh it's yeah, not, nice not chasing. I'm not chasing. My bad, my bad, my bad. There okay, it is. Woo. Holy crap. My, I'm so sorry. Get him out of there. Oh, I'm fired. They're going to cut my pay in half. To you in three, three two, two, one, Tetris. Tetris. And Blue, seeing the line was coming up next, stuck his first uh, Z piece right in the middle so that he can flat play the line. Just love the way that... You just, just, even from the starting games, you just see so much variety from our players. And Blue Scooty passes up on the Tetris. I'm not sure if maybe he was trying to stabilize his stack or just didn't see it, but he gets the Tetris regardless. You, you come up with a little bit of drama pieces early on. You don't want to uh, get too excited, but... And again, tie score until that uh, Tetris by Blue, and Rhubarb ties it up. 91-960. Can't be any closer. Rhubarb with the great adjustment, seeing the long bar, set up the long bar dependency, and was able to fill it right away. Blue Scooty, the board is a little uncomfortable. He's going to have to take a double and gets the Tetris. Uh-oh. A little bit of a missed rotation there for Blue Scooty. I mean, it's a 20th of a second that you're dealing with, so it's real easy to lose that absolute precision, especially when you've been playing all day. The rolling play style in particular is different from the other play styles in that you are using the same hand for both the rotations and technically the side-to-side -side movements. So sometimes there will be little fluctuations in how the controller gets bumped that can affect rotations. And Rhubarb with an adjustment, seeing the T coming and fills in that dependency. Blue Scooty playing one off the bottom. Did we ever come up with a name for that term when you're, it's not really a dirty Tetris. It's kind of like a, you haven't cleaned your room in a couple of days Tetris, you know? Yeah, very mildly dirty. His, uh, his mother is uh, kind of smirking there. No comment about the cleanliness of Blue Scooty's room. I'll be offering up the potential term Dusty Tetris. Dusty Tetris, we have used that one, yes, I like that. <laughs> but this is more far from us Dusty Tetris. Blue Scooty uh, playing four off the bottom. But again, close scores. 
Again, we're seeing these players on solid pace, having passed the 200,000 point benchmark. And Blue maintaining that Tetris stack four off the bottom. He knows he needs to maintain that aggressiveness. And this is probably the, the uh, fifth Tetris he's played off the bottom here. And still no sign of a well transfer. Yeah, there's no, there's no danger in Ooh. doing it this high unless you have a bunch of misdrops, and unfortunately it's happened to Scooty. So now Scooty is in a true danger zone. He will want to get this down as quickly as possible. Ooh. And Scooty is one this more is so misdrop fun. away from being almost game over, but he can dig out of this. Oh, that getting that line piece all the way to the left at 16 high. Digs at unthinkable heights just a few years ago now have become routine Common. for wow. and the crowd this new generation. It. A round of applause for Blue Scooty from the crowd and a dirty Tetris at the end of it. And despite all this, he's still only behind 40,000 points. That is not insurmountable. But he's going to maintain that four high play. That's that's I'm, I'm digging this. Yeah. We'll see how long he keeps this up. Rhubarb is still playing textbook Tetris. Down at the bottom, I've hardly seen any sort of gap or hole or anything yeah, on Rhubarb's so, side. So boring. I mean, geez, stop playing so well, Rhubarb. But Scooty is going to have to get down at some point soon because the transition is coming up. And also the lack of line pieces probably adds that decision. Yeah, so we're seeing Scooty have to burn a lot of lines right now while waiting out this drought. Rolling is fast enough that he can still comfortably stack for Tetris uh. and survive, playing three rows off the bottom, but he will be forced to burn lines more often. But this is actually we just a terrible a counter, drought. But this, this has got to be 50 pieces. Yeah, it wouldn't matter if he was down at the bottom. Uh, he would have had to burn all these lines He's regardless. He's that four high Tetris well, though, waiting to end this drought. Rhubarb has to be dealing with the same drought as well. It finally gets the line piece. And masterfully, he's still only two touches behind, despite all this craziness. Looks like Scooty is finally opting to burn down the stack he had at the bottom and get Jack down to a clean board right at this transition. And Scooty going to go for the left well, but won't get a Tetris when the line comes. Yeah, it looked like Scooty was trying to opt for a clean well transfer, but it just didn't work out. But again, and Rhubarb, he's about to transition. Still only ahead two Tetrises. You'd think he'd be running away with it, but you see the unfavorable seed in these scores. Yeah, so this is these players are actually very far apart in lines because Scooty was playing so far so for so long at the top. He was going through this game much faster than Rhubarb and is uh, several levels ahead. Yeah, at least two and a half. But Scooty, realizing his position, is trying to oh, keep that well, but he's playing 19 like he typically plays 18. And there's got to be a point where you cut that off, and you know that this seed is evil already with the droughts. Kind of a head shake there, but still only down 30,000 points. So it's, again, first mistake, lose the situation. Yeah, rollers have the ability to stack higher than we've ever seen before in the history of Tetris. But it also does come as kind of a sort of Icarus test, where you can stack very high and survive if everything goes right. But if one piece goes wrong, when you're up very high like we saw in game one, it can be the end. Hmm? Both players are having to deal with traffic in their stack Scooty, we'll see if he goes for this elevated Tetris. He's got it set up. Man, he's kept that four high this whole 19. And gets it. The madman. Let's go. Dirty Tetris for Blue Scooty. He's not going to be able to get a Tetris here. Just going to have to burn this down off the top. Meanwhile, Rhubarb has still been burning, has been maintaining a small lead this whole time. Just small, though. That's, that's, that's testament to Scooty's high-risk play right on the edge. And that's a, that's a Tetris setup. That is a Tetris setup in column four. Knocks it down, back to a regular well. 704, 667. Masterful risk reward for Blue Scooty this whole game.
Yeah, a perfect well transfer, and it couldn't come any sooner as he is about to hit level 29. Um, and actually, despite the, the fact that Rhubarb only has a small lead in direct score, he indirectly has a much bigger lead by the fact that he's two levels behind. Scooty's going to have to play for 29. He's going to need setups and Tetris's post-29, and his board is nearly perfect right now. Into the double kill screen or the double transition 815. A single kill screen. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's happening soon. And this is trouble for Scooty unless he gets a long bar quick. He has to cover the well. Oh, he gets it to the left. Oh my goodness. The move in the game. The five tap to the left with the long bar high up and manages to get it, but it's not over yet. A clutch triple. He's getting the right pieces to dig this, this down. This game is just heroic for Blue Scooty. Needs a square, doesn't get it. Gets a long bar to fill the LJ dependency. He's and open. Is open. Waiting for the Tetris. Gets it. Has to settle for the triple. Meanwhile, Rhubarb still has nine lines to go before kill screen. And knowing that the type of player Scooty is, he's going to try to play extra aggressive. Or does he put the foot on the gas? On the brake. Gas. I can't even do my car controls. One million points for Rhubarb, and then he hangs the L. Yeah, so Rhubarb... Rhubarb ideally just wants to survive as long as possible with this large lead. Scooty needs Tetris's. We're, we, at level 39, the speed doubles again, and it's virtually impossible to play even for these two masters. But Rhubarb is in big trouble. Clutches a long bar to the left. Rhubarb with 1.03 million. And this Blue board Scooty is... also trans... Oh, i got to give him a bell for that. Watch at the end of this game. Oh and Rhubarb's going to top out at 1.03. Blue Scooty almost there. Can actually line this out. What an incredible turn of events. Rhubarb was ahead in pace the whole game, and Blue Scooty... 43. 35. There it, is. there it is. Oh, my goodness. Blue Scooty does it. Going up two games to none. Massively behind in pace the whole game. All that digging at the top, all that survival paid off in the end. But Rhubarb did not make it easy, throwing up another max out in competition. Wow. Oh, there's another stripey shirt under the other one. Yes, the double stripey shirt. The shirts are off. Rhubarb down 0-2, Scooty one game away from his first tournament win, but as we've seen so far, that doesn't mean things are close to over. Rhubarb with the reverse sweep in the semis to make it this far, so we know Rhubarb can come back. That level 28 from Scooty was just perfect. It was right at the bottom, he could set up, get those 29 plus Tetrises, and that was the difference in that game. All right. Players ready? Yep. Crowd ready? Kansas City ready? Woo! Twitch chat ready? Count them down. Game three in three, three two, two, one. Tetris! We even got a little of the, uh, the uh, garland there in the uh, shot there. A nice, nice job, Pumpy. All right, this could be our final game of the day, unless Rhubarb can force a game four. So far, perfect stacks, perfect Tetrises to start Final. things off. Scooty getting one Tetris ahead out of the sequence was able to get an extra Tetris out of the line, but it evens up when he's not able to take the next one. Oh, and Scooty passes up on a Tetris again to stabilize the stack. 
That's the new meta, is just uh, keep that board health more than uh, score every single point. Yeah. A lot of players fear droughts, uh, especially when they're starting out, because in NES Tetris, you definitely don't know whenever a drought is coming. But statistically, most of the time, the droughts don't happen. So well, you can count on a long bar probably coming, even if you use a long bar just to fix your stack, like that, Scooty did. That drought that last game, though, that was pretty epic. I hope somebody in post can put up the counter for us, because that had to be 50 pieces at least. Yeah. But 114-115, another close one, Scout. Absolutely. Scooty, though, is going to probably fall a little bit behind pace, just digging out of these couple of holes. Nothing too dangerous or anything, but it's just going to cost a few lines. And it's game four. You got to save the drama a little bit. Well, I, <laughs> right as you said that, Rhubarb also got into a little trouble of his own, but is cleaning it out real quick. Scooty, again, this is very survivable, but just doesn't want to make a mistake here. Has to plug the long bar dependency with an L piece. Let's look at this. These Tetris ready. Will we see the dirty Tetris? Five rows off the bottom. Oh, no. He's easy. He's, 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 he's smart. That's the way to go. We can see he there. wanted the Tetris, but just took the safety triple. But now he's, now he's behind 191, 158. That's about two Tetris difference. No reason to try and go overly aggressive. Blue Scooty does have the 2 and 0 lead. You don't want to give up momentum to your opponent by having an early top out. We've already had one reverse sweep today. Maybe can it happen again? Ooh, a little early ship for Scooty. All right, I guess I'll go aggressive. But another dirty Tetris oh, set up. Oh, the man. Our and dirty Tetris are to Scooty what uh, center wall Tetris are to Quaid, apparently. And now Scooty is in the same situation as he was the previous game. These are some really nasty dependencies, but if he can get them filled, he'll be back in a high uh, Tetris, dirty Tetris extended situation. Yeah, these were some what? nasty dependencies that he's somehow managing to fight through. I feel this game. This is one of my games going out of control. Except somehow uh, when these players do it, do they it, manage they, to survive they get it. out of it. It's, it's Houdini. Scooty again having to take the safety triple. Didn't quite go for the crazy dirty Tetris. One Mino short. But now is set up. Will Scooty get it? Waiting it out. We don't know if it's coming right away, but there it does. Boom, Tetris for Scooty. But now he's behind 356 to 246. Yeah, Rhubarb has been playing near perfect this entire time. And of course, right as Misses. I say that, now holes form on Rhubarb's stack. Missed the spin, yeah. Another dirty Tetris for Scooty. This is amazing. We'll see how much of this pace Scooty can claw back during Rhubarb's dig. Neither one is set up for Tetris's right now. You saw a little body English there with Scooty grabbing that uh, T-spin. Oh, we're seeing it again. Scooty set this up for the dirty awesome Tetris. Scout. This is so great. And Rhubarb with the dirty Tetris there, I believe. I just saw it right as it was clearing. Well, we see another dirty Tetris from Rhubarb. No, he's going to take the safety burns. Doesn't opt for the Tetris setup there. That would probably be overly risky, especially on an elimination game. I mean, all this talk of, from us about the dirty Tetrises, that's got to affect the player. And, like, I got to do this, but I'm also not a fan, generally, of changing your play style on a situation. You get, you play how you what got you here. But 399, 329, 70,000 point difference, about three Tetrises. Scooty vibing, Scooty with the dirty Tetris set up. Ho hum, height for Tetris. Both players will be transitioning in about 15 lines. Scooty's board is not ideal for what you want going into transition. Beautiful spin tug. Oh man, when you set up on columns five and six like that, it just screams danger, especially this close to transition. That center spire is a magnet for piece hangs if you just miss on one piece, a crucial roll. And Scooty could be in trouble here unless he gets it down, but indeed he is right before transition, not a moment too soon. One more line and Scooty will transition. There it is, 347. That's a suboptimal for Scooty, but you yeah. know what he can do post 29. He's set up for a dirty Tetris. Rhubarb transitions right below 500,000. Scooty just taking the triple. 
So if both players maintain this pace, Security will once again probably have to make up quite a few points post-29. But, but even the best players, when they get cheeky on 18, when 19 hits, they go traditional real quick, and that's what Scooty's done with his board. Finally playing on the bottom, finally with the right well, and finally with a regular Tetris. Rhubarb still maintaining this 200,000-point lead nearly. 611 of Blue Scooty's 451. Blue Scooty will need some strong runs of Tetris's here to maintain pace. Well, strong so far. Yep, fills in the double wide well with a long bar, doesn't have to burn a single line and gets the Tetris. Rhubarb, dealing with the same dependency, uses the long bar to fill the long bar dependency and it pays off, he still gets the Tetris. That lead though continues to grow, now it's 130,000. Yeah, Scooty with a trio of LJ dependencies just a moment ago had to fill them suboptimally and get into this sticky situation again. It's not dangerous for him, but it will cost him a bunch more burned lines. So now it's all Swiss cheese at the bottom for Scooty. Rhubarb is going to probably take advantage and score at least another two or three Tetrises before Scooty can get back to scoring position. Even deficits of several hundred thousand points are easily possible to chase down mathematically on the kill, the kill screen. There's, I think, over 800,000 points available before 39, but the challenge is getting them. It's still not easy for players to consistently Tetris past 29. No, your Tetris rates for like a good game at 29 are probably in the 30% range. So the lead is at 210,000 points. That's a lot of Tetris. So center well set up for Scooty, knowing that he needs to kind of ham it up here as Ru we approach 29. Rhubarb playing solid and consistent. It's been one of his biggest strengths in the stats that I've measured with Marfram for CTM. He has some of the highest average rate of getting to 19 and 29 in the whole field. And we're seeing it now. He needs it more than ever. He just needs to maintain a consistent pace and maintain this lead to try and force Blue Scooty to go aggressive. Million points in a 300,000 point lead heading into 29 and Scooty's like, ugh. <laughs> yeah. Scooty has his work cut out for him and he knows it. But, but he's doing what he's got to do. Center will play. That's good. that's a good way to increase that Tetris rate 29. He's going for the Tetris right away. Rhubarb transitions with A76. We'll see if Rhubarb takes any major risks, if he tries to go for a Tetris or just lines it out. Well, Scooty has played 29 flawlessly and knocks down another Tetris. Oh, and oh so no. Rhubarb's going to top out at 1.08 million. So Blue Scooty still needs 200,000 points. You can't line it out here. It's only about 1,000 points for single line, and we only have uh, about seven levels to go here. Scooty can get this with a couple Tetrises, but he needs to avoid a mistake. Mistakes can be much more costly and spiral quickly on this speed. He Goes takes the safety, the safety triple, triple yeah. yeah. But it's like, take your opportunities when you can, and there's the opportunity. Will the line come to complement it? Good safety burn. Another safety burn, not set up for the Tetris now, has to oh, pass it up with the line piece. Gets it. It's, it's 100,000 now, Scout. Yeah, Scooty is Six closing levels in. To go. 100,000 points. With another Tetris or two, Scooty is back into line out territory. Has but to the take the triples, safety triple. But that's the way, if you're gonna do safety burns, the triple's the way to do it. Yeah, Scooty and Rhubarb could- Rhubarb is taking the glove off. Rhubarb's preparing for elimination, uh, but you never know. You it's never over till it's over. How quick that board fell apart. That was a Tetris though. A8068, she's within one Tetris. This is t that's about 10 lines. This is, for the, this is for the regional championship. Scooty's on the verge of it. How many more burns will it take? One more burn? A26. A He's got it! it! And Scooty winning his first regional championship is your Kansas City winner. Congratulations in a dominant sweep. Scooty has done it. What a chase down. Playing from behind pace, 
What an incredible showing for the young rookie, taking the Tetra scene by storm this year. A wow. top four oh. appearance in CTWC in his debut, and now his first regional championship. Watch out, 2024. I think we got a new contender. Chris, while you're doing that, uh, why don't we grab a quick interview with Scooty a here? Quick oh, a quick interview. What, Blue Scooty? Uh, how are? How do you? How do you feel? How do you feel? Uh, I feel uh, pretty good right now. Uh, really good. Were you expecting this outcome, or was it a shock? Are you surprised? Uh, the chase down on level 36? Uh, is that how you expected it? A sweep? A clean sweep? What were you thinking coming into this? Uh, I was expecting to lose to Miles. Oh, Miles. Miles in the background. Have we got that? Miles Miles laughing a little bit there. He says, next time, next time. Uh, Scooty, what are you going to do with the prize pool? What is, where does it go? More t-shirts? Tootsie Rolls. <laughs> Tootsie Rolls. Now I've heard. All right. Now I've heard that you're like on a hundred Tootsie Roll a day pace. Someone has told me that. Uh, can you confirm the rumors? Are the rumors true? Uh, no. I I have a 700 bag of Tootsie Rolls. It's like I've had it for two months. I think. Right. I have not eaten it. So 700 for two months. All right. That... No, yeah. I need to pick up the pace. <laughs> what would you say your pace is right now? And what's your target? Parents hate it. Parents hate the question. All right, all right. Let's just here. Look, we'll we'll turn the mic off for this one. All right. Don't okay. tell anyone. All right. What what's the pace? What do you want? Uh, twenty a day. Twenty a day. Oh, the dentists love to hear it. How about that? Uh, and uh, Scooty. All right. Is there anyone you want to give a shout out to? Is there anyone in the in the crowd? Anyone online watching at home? Anything you want to say here? Uh, my, just my whole family and my dad. Uh, my family and my dad. Yeah, all right. Not Beepa Monk or anything like that, no. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. Beepa Monk, Beepa Monk. What? Beepa Monk? <laughs> the crowd goes wild. Uh, awesome. Thank you. Any, any final thoughts? Any final words? Uh, I did not expect to even win. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. All right, there we go. There's Scooty, everybody. Scooty, Blue Yoshi. 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 Hello, everyone. I'm your underwater host, Sharky, and I want to say thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the match, then make sure to leave a like. Comment down, what was your favorite moment? For me, I'd have to choose in between one of the many digs that Blue Scooty was able to execute. But of course, I'd like to know what your favorite moment was. And make sure you subscribe with notifications so you never miss out on another upload. Because I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret for those of you that have been sticking around to the end of these to hear me ramble. There is a special announcement coming real soon. And if you stay tuned and you turn on those <laughs> notifications, you'll be notified the second it gets dropped on the channel. And last but not least, if you want to see the entire tournament in its entirety for the KC Regional, you can become a channel member and you'll have access to not only the VODs, but you'll also be helping support what we do here at CTWC and our efforts towards land events. Anyways, I'll be seeing you soon. I'm your underwater host, Sharky, and I hope you all have a fantastic day.